Hi guys, welcome back. Today, I, in this tutorial, I will show you guys how to create this cool 3D uh, balloon effect uh, in Adobe Photoshop uh, using the normal text layer and the 3D effect. And uh, you can use this uh, this effect for kids or party posters or birthday party posters or any design which is involved in balloons or uh, 3d looking objects so let's get started all right guys for for this tutorial find the text with bigger weight uh for this i'm using a text called showcase uh show card gothic and uh, the regular is already uh, as a very good weight and it's also representing a balloon effect so i'm using this text you can use any text uh, as long as uh, it's width it will look more realistic okay all right so i'm adjusting the size and width you don't need to keep aspect ratio same here we are going to focus on the balloon effect not the text uh, aspect ratio all right so once we're done with this one um, we can rasterize this type and uh, we need to add the additional part for balloon which is okay So this is showing a stroke, so we don't need the stroke, we need a background color. Same for this one also. We need a background color, just we don't need stroke, okay? Yeah, and... Uh, for this one, we can have a corner radius. Yeah, I think this is okay. Just copy both of them and make it here. I think we should be smaller. Yeah, like this. This one also, let's make it a little bit more smaller. Make it center. Okay. So what we need to do now is select everything and rasterize layers and make it as one, uh, one layer. So we merge everything into one layer and we can assign one color doesn't matter you can have any color because we are going to define the color in the 3d layer not here all right so before we go into the 3d layer let's define a background color as well so we for us it's easier to work with in the 3d layer all right I think this is okay. Alright, so now we go to 3D layer. To do that, right click and say new 3D exclusion from the selected layer. It will open up this 3D layer. And first, we need to define the camera position. To do that, uh, we go to the camera view and using these icons you can uh, select the angle uh, and i will select somewhere like this yeah okay and uh, we can also go into the lighting and select the lighting but before the lighting we need to define proper material for this one and before that we have to make it like a balloon effect so to do that select this uh, rectangle copy and go to shape presence and here we have already pre-built shapes so we choose the this one this one from there so from the top view you can see it's look something like this and we can 
make make the extrude depth a little bit more bigger you can see the top part here yeah i think this is okay and then we can go into other places we can adjust the exclude depth and twist all those things we don't need to change for this one maybe if we want to give a exclude depth here we will adjust from here you can twist which we don't need for this model and taper all those things here and uh, from here you can have different 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 edges for the bevel effect and all these things we don't need to change anything all right so we have the 3d balloon effect here but we need to apply proper materials for that so we go into the go into this this inside faces this one these represent different faces so what we have to do now is select correct select these faces and apply material so we go here i would like to apply the plastic material i think plastic glossy is yes, this one i have applied and i applied for all of them first and plastic And some of them we don't actually need because they are not visible in the screen. So I just apply for this one. And let's make the color what we wanted. Something like this is okay. And also, if you notice, the shadow is just on the on the on the floor, so we don't want that. So we go back to the camera view and bring down the view here, the floor area, and bring the text up. Yeah, somewhere around here, so it will look like it's floating on this on the screen. By adjusting a light, you can have choose to have anywhere you want so i choose like this yeah okay this is okay and we can go back to the material and adjust the shining maybe a bit more and reflection all those things you can adjust here and if you see there is the depth part which is this one there is no material applied for that which is this one so we apply again blue color the, the, the color we have selected somewhere around here okay i think we already applied so now when once we satisfied with the design what we need to do is just uh make uh, make the rendering for this object which is really easy so i hope this is okay then go back here to this one and render so it will render the image once you render the text is ready so it's just easy guys it's very easy and <coughs> Alright okay, guys, so go back to the layer here and you can see you can still go back and edit using the 3D layer if you wanted to. If all okay, if you think everything is okay, you can just click the layer and convert to smart object or you can make it as a uh, rasterized layer. It's the same term, so I will just make it a uh, smart object. So now it's a smart object. This is a normal Photoshop layer. You can do whatever you want, right? Okay, so it's that simple, guys. So I hope you learned something new from today. 
and thank you for watching and see you guys in the next video